all know musicians keep New Orleans going, and now the city is trying to make things easier for them when they perform. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. On live entertainment venues can now apply for a musician loading zone permit so that musicians don't have to pay for parking. As Eleanor DeBone explains, this can make things a lot easier for artists performing across the city. I don't want to walk too far to my car around midnight. Music is embedded in New Orleans culture. It's part of what makes New Orleans, New Orleans. Parking is, 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 is not a small piece of what we do. It's a very significant uh, part of what makes uh, our ability to earn a living as a working musician in the city. <laughs> So imagine being a working musician in the city by wasting your time, money and energy searching for parking. Imagine you're making a gig and you just made 120 bucks or 130 bucks and you got a $40 ticket or a $60 ticket. It's tough going through times like that. According to Mayor Latoya Cantrell, the city started working on the musician loading zone permit in 2019. Culture is economy and we have to do everything possible to ensure that our cultural bears receive the return on the investments that they also make in us and on the behalf of the city of New Orleans. Any business across the city of New Orleans that has a permit for live entertainment can apply for free and get one of these musician loading zone permits. The musicians can then place a placard on the front dash of their car. It's a really big thing when you're a gigging musician and you can't even take the time to, to get your drums out of the car or to go back in without worrying about getting a ticket. Businesses will only get two musician loading zone permits. They'll also keep a hold of the placards. The musicians only allowed to borrow them. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. Uh, venues who do have permits for live entertainment can apply for a musician loading zone permit via the Office of Nighttime Economies website.